Thank you, ma'am. It needs a special mention that Professor Rajni Khan, former DRS, is the inspiration behind this program and we'll forever be indebted to him for his encouragement and enthusiasm. Also, our special thanks to Sri Yatan Thakurji for coordinating with the DRS officer office and making this program possible. We are delighted to have with us Sri RKB Yadav, Head Emergency Preparedness and Response Section, BARC. Sir has nearly 29 years of experience in the field of Operation Radiation Protection and in planning, preparedness and response to nuclear and radiological emergency. He is also the alternate member secretary of Crisis Management Group of the Department of Atomic Energy. He has worked as radiological safety officer of Cyrus Nuclear Research Reactor. He is the faculty member for courses on radiation protection and radiological emergency preparedness at Homi Baba National Institute. I now request him to please enlighten all of us with his valuable views and knowledge. Please welcome sir. Namaskar and good morning friends. Respected Professor Ramesh Roy, Honorable Vice Chancellor of University of Jammu, Professor Anju Hussain, Dean Research Studies, University of Jammu, uh, Madam Hima Rao, Head Public Relations and Public Awareness and Foreign Language Section of DRC, Shri uh, Professor Sattipal, uh, Convener of this program, University of Jammu. I have with me my senior colleagues, Shri Samir Mandal from DRC, Shri Aarti Mishra, uh, Shri Yakim Thakur from DRC, Shri Ram Gadare, Atul Nikite, Madam Sumanthi Patil, Mr. Pawar and Shri Gulhani. These are the teams with me. Basically, our objective of this program is to give you information about Indian Nuclear Energy Program and its application in various fields. And why I am saying this is, if you remember, if you have seen the international relations or studies, there has been a proposal for net zero carbon emission for various countries. And this net zero carbon emission cannot be achieved by having a thermal power plant or by having a renewable sources for some. But what we have is a nuclear energy which can bring you to near zero carbon emission. And that is why we are advocating for nuclear energy in India. It is already there, but I want to be in a bigger in a bigger complex. And as the application of radiation also is increasing, we have brought in many radiation sources which have been imported, which are being used in our own countries. We are providing, but we want to be self-sufficient in this aspects. So in future, this application of radiation sources they are going to increase. And that is why I want you all participants of this outreach program to be a brand ambassador in bursting the myth of radiation. As Professor Anju Basin Madam has mentioned, so we have to burst this myth of radiation and we have to bring out the beneficial effects of radiation. And that is why we all are here and I thank my department, Baba Atomic Research Centre, Department of Atomic Energy, I thank University of Jammu and I wish all the success for this program. Thank you.